approach you have? Yeah, um, I wanted to ask you because um, there's an awful lot of reliance with our players on scales and things like that. So going into comfortable patterns all the time uh, is problematic because you can't. Sometimes you can't keep your playing fresh. So yeah. how do you try to keep your playing fresh and trying new things? Because I mean, generally the guitar lends itself to learning a particular pattern and moving around that. General question. Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Um, yeah. Patterns, right? Well, that, okay, so here's here's the thing. Uh, pianists, saxophone players, you know, all these other non-string instruments, you know, it's all laid out like a, like a road map for them. It's like a it's a measuring stick, pretty much, you know? You, you know, the guitar, the problem is, this is, this is, this is why, you know, the, the joke's about sight reading, you know, how do you get a guitar player to turn down, you know, put a piece of sheet music in front of them? <laughs> Uh, the reason, I mean, and now it's tough because it's a very imperfect instrument. I mean, look at what we got here. We got all these, 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 we got these strings here, and there's one string that's two. The D string is completely different than every other string, right? So I consider the guitar a very imperfect instrument, um, but I think that Harbor's style, this opportunity to, if you flaunt that correctly, you, know, you get guys like, I mean, name it, your favorite rock players, right? Jazz players, whatever, whatever genre. Um, so the question was. Uh, pattern playing, you know, how do you kind of uh, break free of pattern playing instead of relying on the patterns? You know, I, I was always considered a pattern player. I went to school for music. Whoops, should have said that. Um, and that's the first thing that they kind of, uh, they busted they busted me on. They were just like, you don't know your notes, right? So uh, I, I did work hard to get out of that, but then I came back to it because I think that it harbors style, okay? so. When we all get creative ruts, it's easy to rely on one thing and do it over and over and over again. Right? Um, but when it comes to pattern playing, I think as long as you analyze what you're doing after the fact, you know, make make music first of all. You know, make music. You know, here it is. We're making music, having fun. Then after the fact, analyze it. Um, I think that you'll find your ism. I call it ism. All right, micism, amoism. Yeah. Um, so, for instance, we were talking about the flat nine earlier, right? Um, it, you know, that sound against the chord, that sound right there, that's, I eventually, with my ears acclimated to it, I liked that sound a lot. This didn't come from me playing, it actually came more from me appreciating music and listening to music. So I started getting to the gypsy jazz thing, and next thing you know, I'm a flat nine guy, that's my that one ism. So I do something like this. That's... To me, I mean, most people that hear me play say, okay, yeah, that sounds like a you know, wrong note, bent to a correct note, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like that. <laughs> so, uh, to answer your question, I, I, you know, I think that, I think the coolest thing about a guitar is you, you can play a pattern, you know? It, it's, it's really hard to sight read because you can play, you know, you can play G right here, you can play it right here, here, it's you know, but the cool thing is, is, if you notice, that was three different tones, three different tonalities. You know, I mean, well, that tonality, it just it just sounded different. Every note sounded different. So, I think that uh, analyze what you're doing after the fact, check it out. You know, work on your licks. You know, and um, you know, don't be afraid of being a pattern player because I was labeled as a pattern player. You know, I probably still am, but um, I I wound up exploring elsewhere, and then I came back because uh, processing information and giving people who Giving listeners something they can latch onto, and they can say, "Hey, that's you know, that's that's my call. You know, like, that that's that's what you want as a player, right? I mean, that's what we all want as players, right?"